What's going on everybody, it's Cody, and this will be episode number three of my ship project build video how-to thing for you guys. And this episode will be the first of a few in a row that are going to be centered around the cargo container area for the fuel supply lines and everything as they're all going to be separated from the main storage and I'm currently showing you guys what we've built in the first two episodes and um, you'll be seeing the bulkhead in front of us so let's go ahead and get to work on building the actual area so what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to merge all of those um, blocks that we were putting together for the reactor core and everything together to the keel and um, basically what's going to happen here is we're going to have to make sure that all those holes are lined up. Now, I actually didn't have it completely accurate when I was working on it, so I'm going to skip around quite a bit to try to um, make sure stuff is not messed up because I sat there for about 15 minutes scratching my head trying to figure out what was going on. So now that we have it bolted in place like so, we can continue doing the project that we need to do. Now, keep in mind that the gravity generator is going to be underneath that entire hunk of steel and whatnot and um, yeah so let's go ahead and start working on that bulkhead we are going to have to do this and we're also going to have to work on shell plating at the same time in order to get that bulkhead in place so as you can see we are doing measurements on one ship versus another ship and um, you'll see me go back and forth between ships multiple times uh, in this series because it's just so much easier when you're building this stuff from scratch um, I'll build complete units when they're not as complex like the repulsion fields and gravity drives those could be built pre-built now I could build those right in front of you guys or whatnot and drop them in place but um, in this case we just want to make sure that the ribbing and everything is in place because this is going to be where a cargo container is and I did a little bit of research I can make a um, airtight docking ring with this particular design that I'm running with so you guys will be able to do this as well and have a some sort of vehicle or shuttle or pod or something go into the the storage containment area and either dock if you want to uh, modify the ship just a little bit which free reign to you for working on it or you can just do like I will be doing and have a spot where you can send something in and just fling materials into the collectors and the connector tubes and whatnot so anyway what we're going to continue doing here is make sure all of our side paneling and everything is in place and the reason i'm using the dark areas again is to demonstrate where there's going to be more armor in place it's more like a safe zone spot now here we go with the construction of the first bulkhead this should be for bulkhead cell number nine if memory serves this will be the compartment number nine have a protected 10 to 12 uh, bulkhead or cells is what the ship is going to be referring to them as. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that we have enough spaces in between for each one of those catwalks as they're going to be stairwells attached to each catwalk, but those will come in later parts of the series when I have the ship in its fitting out phase. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue searching over here making sure everything on that ship is in place, all the heights are right. Um, make sure that this stuff goes correctly what am I doing oh yeah so we're gonna make sure that everything up to this level of the deck is in place and we're gonna make sure that the heavy blocks are going into the light blocks as they're gonna add some level of structural strength to the bulkheads in case the bulkheads give out now these bulkheads are obviously mostly hollow as I needed to cut down weight you don't want to have way too much weight on your ship or else it's gonna be very slow it's gonna be hard to use jump drives it's going to be a nightmare and it takes a lot more energy in this game to move a big ship than it does a small ship so at any rate when you can cut down size the better the more weight you can cut off with the same amount of power the better now here we are widening the bulkheads anchor areas and we're going to go ahead and start working on the vertical stuff here in, momentarily I'm just making sure everything's in place we're going to have the ribbing and stuff surrounding the bulkhead um, as you can see, the black lines are actually how wide the bulkhead compartment areas are going to be, big enough to put blast doors down in order to prevent oxygen release, or if the ship ever found its way to a plant that had a lot of water, keep it from flooding, hopefully. So, we're over here just making sure everything's in place properly uh, on this already completed seg segment of the ship. As an example, it's more complete than the one we're currently working on. So let's go ahead and start working on the inner compartments of the bulkheads. We're going to go ahead and make sure that this whole shell is complete and um, 
keep in mind that the two intersections should be interlocked that way they're not both going to be uh, locking into the same place as an explosion could render both uh, bulkheads up inoperable and you'll have catastrophic cabin release pressure so you don't want that so make sure that you have everything put in a way that if an air leak should occur that each section of the bulkhead area in the cell will be airtight the name of the game on this ship is to keep things airtight and functional that way even if the ship is blown in half you'll still have enough oxygen to have a lifeboat of some sort come to you an escape pod some form of help so Basically what we're doing is we're removing temporary placeholders at this point in order to get the 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 deck plating that will be for the lower half of the cargo hold in place. So we're going to go ahead and make sure. And I'm going to delete and undelete and place and delete and scratch my head and make people wonder what the hell I'm doing quite a few times throughout all of these videos. But this video is going to have a lot of me going back and double checking my work and everything to make sure you guys don't get misinformation to where you don't build something that decides to do a cartwheel and explode the second you power it up so bear with me on that guys i apologize for my voice acting and all that kind of good stuff in certain circumstances as i am kind of forgetting what i was doing um anyway so what we're going to keep doing is we're going to go up three if i can get it there we go we're going to go up three ticks to make sure and the only reason I'm not sealing those off is so you guys can actually see how the blast doors are going to be working and then you can just take that as the template for every single bulkhead door that will be on this ship as they will function pretty much identically to each other and um, eventually we'll get things going so this part's going to be the most technical there's going to be a lot of uh, things that are going to look a little bit confusing because I kept going back and forth and had no idea uh, I have no idea what I was doing as I've recorded this a little while back so we're going to continue with that course of action we're going to go ahead and make sure all the plating on the outside is done while we're at it and we're going to seal off this whole this gigantic hole a little bit to where you'll see as it becomes its port that it needs to be that's going to be where shuttles can come in and put fuel reserves into the cargo hole so now that we've got that stuff taken care of, we got most of the uh, rear bulkhead area ready to go. We just gotta start putting the actual structures in for the walkways and whatnot, and that way you'll be able to um, have doors here and keep you from uh, being sucked into the cold vacuum of space and killed instantly. Um, it depends on what sci-fi you're a fan, your fandom wants to. So we're gonna make sure that we have three ticks per level and they are going to be staggered so the bottom ones should be a little bit further out than the top one according to my design i don't know exactly how your design would come to it but if we do things by my design they will be kind of in the effect of a scissor so they will not touch each other on the uh, one section of metal between the two two or two the one to two sections of metal that will be in between each other you will not have to worry about them touching each other so if a, an explosion of some sort happens between the two as i mentioned before they won't necessarily take out both bulkhead doors and leave an entire cell of the ship exposed to the outer elements so at this point we're just confirming that the the bulkhead is actually got skin behind it and everything else and we're getting it mostly ready at this point to accept the bulkhead doors which I will be installing in the next episode if I'm not mistaken so yeah at this point we just want to make sure that everything is in place uh, there's a straight hole all the way through and we're gonna go make sure they go into the point where we stagger everything so again top one should be a little bit further uh, closer towards the reactor cores and the under one should be closer to the the inner one should be towards the the reactor cores and the outer one should uh, towards us should be towards the stern of the ship so we want that and there's going to be a vertical spot for it to drop down into like so and um that'll take care of that all right so as you can see we've got most of that section taken care of we're going to go ahead and make sure just to double check the work that that one is in fact where it needs to be um let's see airtight hangar door where are you there we go okay so what it's going to look like is when it's in place it's going to want to look something to this effect 
you just want to make sure that it goes down it's gonna to have to have three slots that that's why we put slots down in the middle like so I will have this changed a little bit by the next episode and it will be in place so you guys will know what it's supposed to look like and then you guys can pretty much work from there make sure that everything's the set up correctly that way you can actually know which button to push in the bridge or wherever you want to put your control I'm putting the controls throughout the ship in compartments that way you can seal off compartments as needed and there will be computers that automatically do it so anyway guys that's it for this video be sure to rate like favorite comment subscribe and i'll see you next time